good hi hello what's up guys it's feed on speed sorry there hasn't been a video i'm still trying to figure out how to record through your phone kudos to any of you guys that actually know how to do this because i swear i fuck it up each and every time <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome to all my new subscribers. I hope you guys enjoy my content and I hope you stay. If you don't, no hard feelings. I get it. I just want to say thank you for being here. Ooh, I should have turned around up there because now I'm going to have to go on the road. Unless we go all the way across, which we might do. Few inches later. Okay, so today. I kind of wanted to talk about listening to music while riding. I know it's kind of a touchy subject with some bikers, kind of like with the whole gear thing too, but I'm just curious because I know there's like two stances to this, you know? There's one side that's like, no, it hinders your awareness and you'll be able to, you know, be aware of your surroundings, especially if you're on a bike, you're already, you know, you're already at risk because you're on just two wheels. And then there's the other side that's like, eh, it's, it's okay, you can do what you want, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm curious about how you guys feel about that. Side note, before I continue, I actually have a writing playlist on my page, if you're ever curious on what I listen to. Uh, mostly hip-hop and rap, sometimes pop. And if you'd like to give me a recommendation, I'm all ears. Just don't really listen to country though, so anything else I'll take a listen to. But back to what I was saying. Personally, I like listening to music. I feel like it kind of sets the mood in a way. It makes it more fun. Although at times I will admit it's a bit risky because if it's a good song, then most times I will just, uh, go a little faster with the speed limit per se you know just having a little fun for me when i listen to music while riding it's loud enough to where i can hear it but it's also not too loud where i can't hear what's going around on around me you know so i can still hear the cars i can still hear them honking if they honk at me or whatever still hear all of that stuff it just has a layer of music on top of it now for those of you that totally clear out the world besides your music how do you guys how do you guys do that i feel like i'd be a little scared yeah i did try it one time though don't get me wrong i did try to clear out all noises except for my music oh man i couldn't do it i had to lower that volume again so I could at least hear my bike engine <laughs> uh, and you already know that's kind of soft because I have stock so fun stuff, fun stuff. so yeah I'm curious do you listen to music while you ride or if you are starting out riding you don't have a bike yet are you planning to listen to music while you ride or are you just like hey eh, we're gonna we're just gonna listen to the beautiful sound of my exhaust. I'm also curious on why you watch and subscribe to certain motor vloggers. Because I know there's some motor vloggers out there that do point of view like all they do. Well, I feel like most motor vlogger channels should be just point of view. Um, honestly. But, you know, there's some out there, like the big boys, who are just doing builds so it's just all videos of them in the garage or picking up a bike stuff like that and there's other people who just do sit down videos on topics of motorcycles so do you watch because you like the sound of the voice do you watch because you like the point of view you like seeing what i see or they see or do you just by this point, you've been subscribed to them for so long that you just enjoy whatever they put out, you know what I mean? 
like you're a loyal, a loyal subscriber, you know? That you don't really care what they put out, so to speak. You're just glad that they're even uploading. Speaking of that, I hate when I find like a new Moto Vlogger and they don't even upload anymore. Like they haven't uploaded in two years. And I'm like, gosh dang it, I found you a little too late. A little too late. Yeah, there's, I stumbled across a few last night and the past few days and I was like, dang, how come you guys don't upload anymore? But then at the same time, I'm kind of hoping they're okay. Back to what I was saying, why do you watch certain little vloggers or subscribe to them? Personally, I like watching what you're seeing while riding, you know? Like, I like seeing the road. It doesn't matter where it is. You can be talking about almost anything and I probably won't really pay attention to it because I'm just looking at what you're looking at, you know? And I could deal with any kind of scenery, really, because back when I didn't have a bike, that's all I watched. I tried to find any motor vlogger that would show me the view through their helmet and that's how I found was it six foot four Honda he was the main one that I started out with uh, I didn't really see any girl ones I found the girl ones too late like I found Billy Bean as she was uh, ending her career <laughs> which kind of sucked you know because she was funny and I really liked her but, you know as soon as she made that video talking about how she was going back to school and she had a baby I was like damn this is like technically her goodbye video and she doesn't even know it or maybe she did and she just wanted to upload I like seeing what you're seeing take me on whatever road neighborhood adventure you're on and let's just uh, do it. You could even slap some music and I would still watch it. I like those too because sometimes when people just do the music they're like taking the twisties on the freeway and I'm like, not on the freeway, <laughs> twisties in the mountains and I'm like, ooh, this is cool. But we're going to pause this right here because I don't want to talk forever at stoplight few inches later so yeah comment below if you made it this far um, why you subscribe to certain motorbikes and if you have a favorite one that you really like leave their channel below I'll check it out I'm always looking for new people to watch ride <laughs> that sounds kind of weird but you don't you guys get what I'm saying all right okay so what have you guys been up to Recently, I dyed my hair teal. I freaking love it because honestly, I feel more like me with colored hair. I don't know why. It just feels it just feels good. It's already slowly coming out though because I still wash my hair like every four days. I'm thinking my next color is probably gonna be red. I don't know. Blue and red is my go-to colors. Pink is the only one that I'm like, ooh, don't really want to do that. But most, most other colors are considered. I also watched The Joker. Not gonna lie, that movie was kind of confusing. I was like, what the heck is going on? I only really watched it because everyone else you know, was saying that it was a really good movie, but yeah, I was a little confused. It was, it was good, but I was confused. I also watched Maleficent Mistress of Evil. Ooh, that was a really good one. Because I already seen the first one, which I really, really liked. I really, really liked how Disney portrayed her. Like, even though she's supposed to be a villain, you know, like in the cartoon movies and stuff. I really liked her. Like, Disney made her likable. <laughs> uh, it was a good movie. If you haven't seen either of those, watch the first one, then watch the other one. I think you'll really like it. 
I don't know, I'm just someone who likes watching kid movies. Like, you could ask me, did you see Titanic? No. Did you see Fight Club? No. Majority of the big name movies, I did not see. Name me a Disney movie, 99% of the time, I can say that I watched it. I don't know. I just, kid movies, they're funny, they're cute. I'm also excited because I don't have to ride bitch anymore. I finally got a car and I can get more than two days worth of groceries, which is super exciting. I hated riding in the super cold just because I needed food. It sucked. I also am pretty excited about my next video idea. Kind of about tattoos. I don't know. We'll see how to execute it. Like, I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure how to really do it. But I'm excited. Anyway, I wish you guys could reply back to me while I'm talking like this. I feel like we're friends, you know, and we're talking, but you can't reply. I mean, you can reply in comments, but it's not in real time, you know what I mean? But anyway, sorry for the delay in the videos. Welcome if you're a new subscriber. I hope you stay a while, and I hope you like me, and I hope we could be friends. Y'all know I like comments, chat, even if you're in Colorado, go for a ride. If you're in a car, I don't discriminate. We could play. I'm trying to get more and more comfortable with this bike. It's been, what, a year? Maybe two years? No. I don't know. Either a year or two years that I've had this bike. So I'm still filling them out, you know? But yeah, anyway, I'm veering off topic. I hope you guys have a good day, night, afternoon, wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!